My father was a numisticist. A what? A numisticist, Creighton. That's not a dirty word, okay? You know, that's somebody that collects coins, okay? My father, I think, was probably a lot like me when he was <clears throat> going to the coin conventions. He, he tried to be funny. I tried to be funny. And coin collectors, when they go to a convention, if they're not dealers, they take a few very special coins with them to trade or barter off with the rest of the coin dealers at the convention. And they carry them around in their pockets in a little leather wallet. This is the one that my father carried. It has three coins that he always thought were his favorite coins, okay? And I know you probably won't look at them, but first, my dad told me before I let him go to learn a little simple trick with him. And I told you that he tried to be funny. You notice that... His wallet has a combination lock, Cheryl. I couldn't help it. I, I know, help it. Cheryl. Come on over here close. I'll show you how this works, okay? Come right over here, Cheryl. Look. You know how this works? Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> 42. <laughs> 24. Let me see down below there. 35. <laughs> See how it works? <laughs> of course. Comes, comes right off. Now, look, inside. No, wait. No, like, these are the coins. These are the, I'm going to show them all to you. Okay. And then I'll let you look at them. But first, I've got to do a little simple trick with them, Creighton. Now, look. See, they're on a little display thing. Now, this one is an Australian penny. It has a kangaroo on it. This is a very old uh, American penny before the Indian head. This is a Walking Liberty half dollar. All right, but first I'll show you this simple trick. I'll let you look at the coins, okay? Now, see, here's the idea. Here's the idea. The idea is to take one of the copper coins and the English penny and the half a dollar and put them all in my hand, okay? Then, to reach into my hand, I'm going to take out the silver coin. This is actually metallurgy more than anything else. See, if I throw the little silver coin over here, okay? Now, notice in particular that I wear a silver ring, see? What happens is the silver ring attracts the silver coin back and leaves the copper coins over there. Was that too quick for you? Yeah. yeah. I thought so. Look, now we're going to start again. Now, I want you to follow this this time. Look, one copper coin, another copper coin, and a silver coin, okay? Now, remember... We take the silver coin out. This time to make this very clear to you, look, I'm going to put the silver coin back in the little coin wallet, okay? Remember what happened before the silver coin attracted the silver coin back? See how quick that happens? Now wait, don't look away. You see over here in the wallet are the two copper coins. Now what did I tell you? Where's the, wait, let me get, wait, no. I told you you look at the coins. No, go look at the coins. When you get done, please put them back in the wallet for me, okay? Let's have a nice hand for the lovely Cheryl. Oh, you got me on this. If I no. can't put them in. They're helping me out. They're helping me out.